Benedict the 16th on his birthday Bishop Brian Farrell says his council is very close to the Holy Father in these days the Pivotal Council for Promoting Christian Unity is very much impressed and close to the Holy Father in these days as he celebrates these important moments of his life we thank him for the leadership that he gives us in the search for the unity of all Christians throughout the world. We ask that the Lord bless him in his continued service to the church and to the world, and we thank him for the leadership that he has given us in these years. Uh, in June, we will have the Eucharistic Congress in Dublin, my native city, and hopefully, and with God's grace, this will be a moment of deep reflection on the process through which the church in Ireland and in many other countries of the world is passing as it seeks to bring new answers to the difficulties that arise and to the uh, situations that uh, make it hard for people today to give time and importance to the spiritual element of their lives. Bishop Brian Farrell is the secretary of the Pontifical Council for Promoting Christian Unity. Another good friend of the radio is Cardinal Francis Arince, the Prefect Emeritus of the Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of Sacraments. He told us that our wishes for him are of joy, peace, and his seeing the faith in Christ make great progress, that faith for which the Pope sacrifices himself to achieve. He says the whole Church is united with the Holy Father on this special day. In the family, we wish our Papa happy birthday, our Papa in the faith, our Pope, our Father in the faith, the Vicar of Christ, Pope Benedict XVI, will be 85 years old on April 16th. We wish the Holy Father a happy birthday. We, our wishes for him are of joy, peace, and his seeing the faith in Christ make great progress. That faith for which the Pope sacrifices himself totally. We wish him joy, we wish him good health, and we wish him also that peace which will come from knowing that he is doing God's will and that the bishops, priests, and the whole church are united with him. It will indeed be for the Pope a happy birthday. And it will also usher in his re-election, his election anniversary. And last but not least, of course, Jesuit Father Federico Lombardi, the director of Vatican Radio, but also Pope Benedict's spokesman. He looks back to seven years of papacy. Seven mm -hmm. years as Pope. Cardinal Josef Ratzinger was already advanced in age when he was elected Pope, and many wondered if, after years marked by the infirmity of his predecessor, John Paul II, his papacy would be as strong as hoped for, and whether someone who'd been a theologian for so long would know how to undertake the very difficult task of governing the universal church. In these seven years, we had 23 international trips abroad and 26 visits around Italy. We witnessed four synods of bishops, three World Youth Days. We've read three encyclicals and received countless 